see how corrupted you are and can cry. You so it's okay to be weak. It is okay to be fat. You work out strictly for a parent-based reason. You are fat so bad. saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mucha Khwalash. Double honor to mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of the great millstone. Shall a warm to the Yakim who avoid the dar sincere and serious to doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Mukhar Kwadash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, yes, I'm the brother, <coughs> the disciple Kosha Banyamin from the branch here in great millstone, Barbados. And this is the word for untoward. Strong's G 4646. Scalias. Scalias. So the definition is crooked, curved, a metaphor, perverse, wicked, unfair, surly, forward. Perverse, crooked, forward, untoward, warped. So these people's minds are warped, right? They are crooked. And um, another priest I got in mind is in the book of um, Genesis, what's that? That Genesis, um, Genesis 6, let me see if I write. Um, yeah, verse 5. And the powers, and the powers saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually so with these couple of clips I just show you there with this got to be it right now you hear what this demon say we need to kill all men it's right and it sounded like um in the time of Egypt right in the time of Egypt Can't remember how it, how it goes. Um, if it be a meal, so like it, if it be a meal. So this is the generation we in where men want to be women, women want to be men. And um, everybody's heart is perverse, only wicked. 
right? I can't seem to find it. I know it's in Exodus and all right, man. It's pretty telling in Exodus, right? Pretty telling in Exodus, man. Let me see. Okay, now yeah, man. Exodus um, 1, let me see. Um, right. Verse 15, and it's a lot here. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, of which the name of one was Shibra. And the name of the other, Pua. And he said, When you do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Because a woman is easily manipulated. Girls are easily manipulated. A man takes over. A man is dominant. A man brings forth generations. See? And establishes the will of the father. You understand? So, um, this is the world we live in now. You see? Same thing happened back then. Same thing happened now. But you see, it shows you that we in modern day Egypt, modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, how the killing the men now? Well, they put the guns in the communities and you got them shooting and, and, and um, killing one another. You got them strung up on drugs. Or you have warped, that's one of the definitions for the word untoward. You have warped their brains into thinking that they are something they are not. That you saw, that you saw here. See that there? Okay. No, it's not. It leads to diabetes, hypertension, strokes, heart attacks, impotence in men, hear loss, um, so much things it leads to a lot of health complications i will know because i was overweight you see right? so it's not okay to be fat but this is the philosophy of babylon the great fingernails like a woman talking like a woman he's really uh he's feminine who he's talking to men are not made to be submit uh dominant but submissive he's going against the scriptures so we we, we live in a time where um a lot of anti-christ anti-messiahs are revealing themselves and these people will be reserved for fire
Second Peter 3 verse 7 But the heavens and the earth which I know by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. You see? So, these were just born in vain, you know? They are ungodly, they are um, untoward, and um, the Lord is going to destroy them. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, that's the name, who you ignorantly call God of Jehovah, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, He's going to kill a lot of people, boy, because a lot of you are anti messiahs, and you're against the Anointed One. Hence, when you're seeing things like this and hearing things like this. Verse 27, but those my enemies, which the Lord has a lot of enemies, you understand? Which for not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me, because what the Lord is going to bring, he's going to bring righteousness. So if you don't want righteousness to reign, if you don't want the Lord to reign, then a lot of you are going to be slayed before the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. A lot of you are going to be slain by the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, boy. Real thing. So, yeah, this one, the really short video. Great death is coming for all the people, boy. The slain of the Lord shall be many. That's in what Isaiah 66, verse 15. Whoa. 